Hello and welcome back to Josh Ody YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about something that changed my game completely and it made me go from a two side miss to a one side miss which is what we all need when we're going out on the golf course. If we can take away one side of the golf course and know that we're only going to miss it on the left or right we can now eliminate it so we can start playing for that one way miss. This changed my game dramatically and helped me get my scores lower, more consistency and a hell of a lot more confident when I'm going out onto the course. So let's start off where I made the first change. These were all done by my coach Has. I'll leave his Insta down below, go check him out if you wanna see what he's all about. He's so in depth with all of his knowledge, um, swings it a lot like Bryson um, and certainly has taught me a lot as well. So the first change we made was setup. Now, Setup can be a very misleading place. Um, people don't really translate a lot of the swing faults that they make, whether it's over the top, underneath, to setup. Now, a lot of people's reasonings for swinging the golf club the way they do is all because of address. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit today about one really important change we made, um, why we made it, and how it's helped me now. So. The setup where I was, was I was back in my trail hip. Um, now this setup is fine for someone that wants a lot of power, maybe it has quite a strong grip, um, holds the club face off. Now for me, I got a lot of inconsistency from that. Um, it led to me where I was holding it off, the club face would either stay open ever so slightly and I'd be hitting this big high block or I'd release the club too early and I'd get this quick left one. So I had a two way miss. It was literally high right or low left, um, which when you're standing on a tight hole with driver is not a great feeling to have. Trail hip set up. We was back here. The grip was a lot stronger. Now, another thing which is unbelievable, right? Um, people look at grip and they say, why have I got such a strong grip? This was absolutely mind blowing for me. So. Let's say you're someone that's in your trail hip. If you put this right hand on the club, you're gonna be strong, okay? Let's get into the right tilts and now put the right hand on the grip. Guess what? It's pretty neutral, you know? So this grip can also relate to setup. Um, mind blowing stuff, it really, really is. Um, really, really simple stuff to learn, but you know, it all comes back to this setup position. So I was very much in my trail hip. I used to be a very powerful guy because I used to get behind it, um, used to swing it really, really quick, but it was very inconsistent. Um, I'm looking to find a golf game where, you know, I can be more consistent, more level playing and understanding that the low rounds will come from when the putts are going in and you're, um, you know, you're getting the pins that are in nice positions and we can go out and be aggressive. I don't think them low rounds want to come from that one streaky day of golf that you manage to time everything up. Because um, uh, unfortunately you can't rely on that day to day. We're back here in the trail hip, strong grip. And it used to be a very powerful move, but as you can see there, it's just a million miles away from where I wanted that to go. It was very left and you know, I'm not actually that good at that move anymore. I used to time it pretty well um, to a certain degree. But look, now we're in this more neutral setup. As you can see, my hips and body are more level. The grip is a lot more neutral. And from here, I can actually just release the club, timing it up with the body. The reason why I couldn't release it before was because I'm back here. I've only got one option to hold it off. So. We've now got that more neutral grip. We're in a good setup position, and now we can just turn. A little bit leaky there, probably because the last shot was with the strong grip. But that's the differences that you can see in the two setup changes there. Um, you know, one was trail hip all the way back here, holding it off. The new one is a lot more neutral, a lot more neutral grip, a better release pattern. Um, and it's something that's just changed my game dramatically. So now we go to the most important club of the bag. Um, and arguably this is the one that has changed the most um, for me in consistency. The two way miss before with driver was crazy. Um, you know, standing on a tee box that 
you've got OB right and maybe something on the left like we have here. You know, you just can't commit because you don't know which way it's going to go. Now I can give myself a target and hit it um, and know that it's going to fall to, to one side. So let's talk about the trail hip one first with the driver. So very much in my trail hip. Used to be so powerful, as I say. Um, that's certainly one thing. If you're a long drive guy, you know, you're probably back here. Um, but let's give this one a rip, see where it goes. And look, we timed that one there. That was pretty good. Um, but as you can see, we had to aim straight. I didn't know which way that was going to go. Um, we can call it luck um, or we could call it skill for one shot. But, you know, it's about doing this repeatable over a season. Maybe you might hit 100 drivers. How bad are the 10 shots, the 10 bad ones that you hit? Um, you know, how bad are they? Are they ruining your scorecard or are they still in play? So now my golf game, where I go to a neutral setup, I actually have to aim over, over on the right hand side. And I know that this is going to fall one way. So I've got a draw pattern now. I'm quite a steep swinging guy. So unfortunately, that's a draw pattern. Um, if I wanted to fade it, I'd have to be quite shallow, which... You know, someone that's steep trying to fade it is just a recipe for disaster. So um, I'm a guy now that aims up the right hand side. I try and get into my good tilts. By the way, I still need to work on my setup as well. I'm not 100% perfect yet, but we're getting there. So I now know that my draw pattern, I've given myself this target down the right hand side. We've got plenty of room on the left and now rotate and release this through and falling one way just caught this one a bit out of the toe um, but as you can see even though that was a dreadful golf shot it's a one-way miss it's falling one way it's only ever gonna go right to left so you know the consistency um, you start to build and the confidence you start to build with your longer clubs is just crazy because I now know that I'm only gonna miss this one side I've not got that high right in me anymore, hopefully. <laughs> so let's just get that in that good setup again. We're in our good tilts. And now we're gonna turn and release this through. And as you can see, right to left, ball flight again. And this is why when I play um, on the live streams, you might see me if I fade one, I'm absolutely livid because it's not my one way miss, it's not my shot. So the goal of this is to create a pattern that you've got one, a one way shot pattern, a one way miss. And now I can eliminate that right side of the golf course. So, you know, when you start to go and play tough courses with OB down the right, um, it might even be OB down the left, but you know that you now have to aim right. You've got your left side miss. Um, you know, and you start to create that pattern and become a hell of a lot more consistent. So it's something that's changed my game, no end. Um, a really simple change from the basics of a setup position. There's still a lot more in depth that I can talk about with the swing changes that I've made. That's just a little bit of a taster um, of what me and Haz have done. But if you guys wanna know a little bit more in detail about the other changes that we've made in our swing that has got me to the next level. Please let me know in the comments. As I say, his Insta is going to be below, so go check him out. Thank you all to the support. It's just been absolutely mind-blowing. Um, very overwhelming to see that you guys enjoy these videos. Thank you very much. Keep up the support. Give this one a like and see you all for the next one.